Welcome, welcome back, friends. Welcome to this special practice on the day of the eclipse. <laughs> That's what's special about it. We're going to take it easy today. We're just going to do a few of the 18 forms. And we're going to begin with some bouncing. So with your feet shoulder width apart, your knees comfortably bent, spine comfortably straight, shoulders relaxed. Just begin to gradually bounce. And then allow yourself to find your own natural bouncing rhythm, whether it's a little faster or a little slower today. Just kind of feel into the rhythm that's right for you. As you're bouncing, you're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Long, slow, gentle breaths. And to breathe out for a couple of seconds longer on the exhalation to turn over the air in your lungs completely, helping you to detoxify. And as you're bouncing, your focus is on any sensations in your body. You're fully present in this moment as you place the attention on the body and the attention on the breath. Mindful breathing. Now raising the hands up above your heads. And you let the hands flap freely as you open the chest a little bit. Soften the shoulders a little bit. Continue to bounce. Opening all the energy channels in your head, your neck, your shoulders, your upper chest. Again, slow, gentle breaths. With the awareness that you're moving your lymph. <clears throat> Another way you help yourself to detoxify with your bouncing, getting your arms up over your head. And you can stay here for a minute or two, or during a day, you can even do three or five minute bouncing breaks helping you to come back into that present moment, helping you to get your arms up over your head, getting up from your desk and taking that little break. Now release the hands down to the sides and swing left and right, tapping on the sides of the ribs, you're continuing to bounce. The backhand is tapping in the center of the back at the height of the navel, right on the spine, on the gate to heaven point. Now tap on the upper chest with the front hand. You're tapping on your lung meridians here. And then over the top of the shoulder. And now back to the top of the chest. And then back to the sides of the ribs. Now slowly come to a stop. <clears throat> Put your attention on your hands and your fingers as you close your eyes. You feel that circulation of the chi, that activation of the chi. Now we're going to begin with a movement called harmonizing the chi. As we breathe in, we raise the hands, the palms stay facing the ground, shoulders soften, the legs extend. Then as you breathe out, your fingers pass through the waterfall of chi, the knees bend, you lower the center of gravity, keeping your back straight, long, slow breaths. Coordinating with the movement, breathing in as you rise. Breathing out as you return, dropping down. Focusing on the hands, on the fingertips. As you rise, you feel that chi flowing up with you under your palms. And as you lower, you're guiding the chi down with the palms and feeling that coolness 
the tingling sensation in the fingers as it passes through the chi field. Breathing in and breathing out. Smiling, enjoying these sensations that you're feeling in your body. Breathing in and out of your nose if you can. Breathing in. And breathing out. And one last round of this moment. And now when your hands come down in front, you form that energy ball rounding the arms, having that palm facing palm connection, relaxing the shoulders, softening the thumbs, the knees are comfortably bent, pulse in a horizontal fashion, in and out, in and out, feeling the, the density of the chi ball, the weight of the chi ball, the tingling between the hands, the pressure between the hands. Breathing in, raise the hands up out in front of you, straightening the legs, not locking out the knees though. And then opening the chest, palms facing up, looking up, smiling in gratitude. Flipping the hands down and then loading the hands back down as you drop by bending the knees and come back to the starting point. Forming the energy ball again, then breathing in, raising it up, opening the chest. Exhaling as you float the hands down, feeling the projection of the chi from the center of the palms all the way down. Breathing in as you rise. Smiling. Exhaling as you lower down. Any time you can close your eyes to go deeper into the silence, into the stillness. Let's do one last round of this movement. And breathing in, rising up. Exhaling on the return. Now as you breathe in, cross the hands in front, raise the elbows up, then part the hands over the head, looking up in gratitude as you separate the clouds to look at the sky. And on the exhale, you return. On the inhalation, crossing with either hand in front, Raising the arms up, separating the clouds, seeing that beautiful sunshine. And rising up on the inhalation with the legs and then lowering down on the exhalation. Nice fluid motion. Separating the clouds to see the night sky, the moon, the star. And let's do one last round.
Let's move the feet into the double wide horse stance with the toes pointed open at 45 degrees. And then we're going to bring the right hand on top, fingers pointing towards the sky, the left hand out in front, supporting underneath. Breathing in, we gather the chi. Breathing out, we drop and return at the waist. When we get to the side, we roll the energy ball, bringing the left hand on top, fingers pointing to the sky, right hand underneath the support. And then we rotate slowly around the waist, pushing the chi from one side to the other. Again, when we're looking at the side, we breathe in as we roll the ball, we rise with the legs just a little bit, and then we lower just a little bit as we push with the palm, the energy to the opposite side. your attention on the hand. You feel a lot of tension or quivering in the quads and the top of your legs. And you can just back off a little bit on how far down you're dropping. If you're not feeling any at all, you might want to drop a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Last push. Now, instead of rolling the ball, when you come to the side, raise the left elbow up. The right hand, the left hand stays above the left elbow. And now you let the left elbow guide you across as you are moving clouds, as you move the energy ball between the hands. Now you rotate the hands, right hand on top, and then turning right with the right elbow guiding you as you carry the energy ball to the other side as you're moving the cloud. You can try to coordinate the breath with the movement, or you can also go with natural breathing. And let's do one more on each side, rolling the ball, moving the cloud. Coming back to center. Rotating the hands to center and then Riding the hands down, and your feet back together. Maybe shake it out a little bit if you have a little tension there. Let's put the left foot out in front, the right foot back. Both feet are open at 45 degrees. The left heel 
you draw a line behind it, passes behind the right heel. You're gonna bring your hands up, gathering the energy with the in-breath. And then as you exhale, you shift your weight to the front leg and you push the weight. Inhaling, shifting the weight back, bending the right knee, the back knee, straightening the left leg. Exhaling, shifting the weight, bending the left knee in front now and straightening the back leg, the right leg. Guiding your hands over the top of the water. Effortlessly pushing and pulling the weight. Now, if you inhale, bring back the hands, bring back the front foot and switch, put the right foot in front and push the opposite side. And then as you pull back, the weight's on the left leg, right leg straightens, pushing out, the right knee bends, the left leg straightens. Coordinating with the breath now, exhaling on the push, Inhaling on the return. Now as you return, bring your feet back, the shoulder width apart. And relax the shoulders, comfortably bend the knees. Straightening the spine, reach forward and grab the rim of the wheel, bending down, keeping the back straight. And now we're going to turn the wheel. We're gonna rotate up to the left side. Straightening the legs as the hands move in parallel to each other. And then as the hands drop down, we bend down again as we exhale. Inhaling as we breathe, as we come up. And exhaling as we go down. You can have a sigh or an ah as you exhale. Inhaling as you come up, exhaling as you go down, shifting the weight, moving the hips, getting a great stretch on your body. And now let's go back the other way, breathing in and breathing out. And we've got one more with me. Breathing out as you exhale, stay down. And taking a big inhalation, raise only the hands. And then on a strong, fast exhalation, breathe everything out five times. Breathing in, breathing out. Three. Four. And slowly straighten back up. Bring the hands to the sides, relaxing the shoulders. Let's conclude with that calming movement for gathering the peaceful chi.
As you breathe in, the palms open facing forward and you raise the arms up. Bring them up above the head, folding the hands in. The palms direct the chi towards the forehead and then down that central column of light as you lower the hands. You bend your knees and lower the body as you flow the energy all the way down the center of your body, past your hips, down your legs, back out your feet to the ground. Breathing in, raising up that earth energy, uniting it with the energy of the heavens, and then flowing the energy peacefully through your whole body, harmonizing, calming, coordinating with the breath, breathing in, directing the energy now from the top of the crown to your third eye, your throat chakra, your upper chest, your heart chakra, your lower dantian, all your internal organs, out past the hips, the thighs, the knees, the calves, the ankles, the feet to the ground. And one last repetition, breathing in. And breathing out. Now bring your hands into prayer position. Bowing gently forward. Giving thanks for your practice today, and I thank you for practicing with me today. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. I look forward to seeing you again here soon for another Qi energy activation. Have a great rest of your day.